Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to our new energy update. So let's find out together what the energies have to say. Let's start with the oracle cards. Let's see what we can get. Here we go. We got a bunch. Choose a new direction. So at a crossroads. Trust. Trust your gut. If you have already made your decision in your mind, go for it. Do not look back. If you believe. Abundance. A legitimate desire. It's up to you. Yes, indeed. So what are you leaving behind? A partner? A job? Maybe old friends? Your dreams need a practical plan. Absolutely. We need a strategy so that we can be more efficient. Step out of your comfort zone. A job. Some of you may have to look for something different and there can be that excitement that can be about doubts. Should I or should I not? Meditate and contemplate. Let's pull two more guys. Believe in the impossible. It's like a quote from the Fringe TV series. When you open your mind to the impossible, sometimes you find the truth. A personal issue reaches resolution. Honesty and communication. You may have to offer feedback to someone or to some people that can be maybe in the workplace because if you want a change, you will have to step up for it. Blessings and abundance. Ask and receive. Ask your angels. Ask yourself. Ask a person that you can trust for an honest feedback, you know? in order to maybe offer you more elements from a different perspective, but at the end of the day, the decision is going to be yours. Two more, guys. Take charge and action. And there is an arrow that seems to be like a bolt to me. So a shocking truth, I would say. Expect miracles. The beautiful lady has wings and to you, I have to say, spread your wings and fly. Even if it means that you have to change something important in your life right now, step out of your comfort zone. You can be ready. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Three rounds, guys. Here we go for the first one. Knight of Pentacles. Reliable. It can be your energy. Eight of Wands. Communication. You have to prepare yourself. If you want to make a decision, you have to be... kind of in a position of strength. You have to know the reasons behind a potential decision. Six of Swords. Sailing towards new horizons. Some of you can be called to move forward on your own. This can be scary sometimes, but deep within you can be aware that the change can be the best possible one for you. It can bring stability, Ace of Pentacles. This can be a new agreement in the professional side of your life, guys. Let's see what is the focus for this set of energies, the Major Arcana, for these energies, we get two. High Priestess, take a moment for yourself, meditate and contemplate. 
pay attention to the details. Count to 10 before you speak up. Tower. This is a change, guys. This is a make it or break it. This opportunity can be here now for some of you. If you say no, it can fade away. This is what the tower is about. And there is a set of energies. This is a new job. This is a promotion, but in a different place. This is the chance to say yes to a higher level of stability, financial stability, abundance. But this change can be so unexpected in some sense that it can be scary. It's up to you. The opportunity is now for some of you guys. So take a moment for yourself. Go talk to someone that you can trust completely. Because if you say no, you can postpone uh, the opportunity to basically receive another offer like this one. Second round, guys. Here we go. Queen of Swords. Looking at someone before you get the chance to speak your mind, you are not exactly satisfied with an exchange that this person has been offering uh, recently. Five of Pentacles. There is a wounded warrior in this version of the card, so this can be a disappointment in the Lovarina for some of you. Uh, someone that constantly someone that constantly goes away kind of avoiding to address the issues in a relationship this can make you guys feel sad multiple agreements have been kind of betrayed or disrespected you know it's like someone that couldn't keep their word and now you can basically address the issue. Knight of Wands, this is a matter of effort, consistency. Uh, some of you may have the opportunity to embrace an honest conversation with a lover, but this person can be left behind. Eight of Cups. The dragon in this version of the card uh, is about the battlefield that we can uh, see in the Five of Pentacles. And some of you can embrace the role of the squirrel, ready to go away. A personal issue reaches resolution. Some of you will have to embrace an honest conversation, honesty and communication. This is your way to take charge and action. You have asked this person to find multiple agreements along the connection. This was your way to find practical solutions in favor of a connection that was perceived as a positive one, but now, now uh, the situation can be completely different. Three of Swords, uh, this can be a breakup, guys. You have the last word, so you can be this warrior, the one ready to swing the last hit. It's up to you. Let's see the focus, the Major Arcana. So some of you do not believe anymore that a relationship can be saved. The Empress, no growth. So step out of your comfort zone can be the necessity to leave behind a relationship that was established for quite some time. Some of you are not going to wait anymore for this person to change. Third round, guys. Here we go. King of Pentacles. This is about stability. This is also a family member for some of you. Someone that would love to 
say something about your life, about your choices. It can be, of course, a father or a mother. They think that they know better. Some of you can desire to find a different space. Ten of Swords. This is a completion, guys. Page of Swords. So you can be younger than this person. So this one seems to be a family issue for some of you. You would love to embark on a different adventure. If we think about work, if we think about maybe a romantic connection. There can be someone in your family that mm, doesn't see things in the same way. The two of you can fight a little bit. To you, I would say that it can be wise to avoid conflicts because they may not be positive, you know? So we have to think in the long run, almost. The sword of the lady is pointed downwards, so... Try to explain yourself if you want to manifest a change and an important person in your life doesn't understand your reasons, but avoid to fight. Queen of Wands. This is a situation that is about a family now. Let's see the focus, guys, because it seems that there is a completion but according to your age, of course, we can think about two different types of completion, meaning that this can be the desire of a child, I mean, of a son or a daughter to move in a different direction, maybe because there is a change of location and the family stays in the old city. Someone may not be extremely happy about that, and for others, there is an issue in the family because there can be a completion and there is not so much that we can do about it. Hierophant, so there is a marriage on the line for some and there is a son or a daughter kind of in the middle. For others, there is a son or a daughter that can desire to go away. Hermit. We have to look for wisdom, guys, because we have to bring a light in a situation that can be a little bit confusionary right now. For others, I want to say that there can be someone, like a parent, that can meet someone new. You may be a little bit disappointed in the type of person that can start to play a role in your family, basically. You have to go with the flow because if you fight the situation, you may run the risk to face more challenges because, as a matter of fact, the situation can become bigger and bigger because, let's say, the parent can say that this is what they want, even if a son or a daughter doesn't agree. So this is, this is a difficult situation, guys. Um, a personal issue reaches a resolution, but the outcome can be a disappointing one because of the term sword, guys. I have to say that. So let's try our best to handle the situation the best we can. Let's avoid conflicts. Let's try. So let's pull from this lovely deck, guys. Let's see what else we can learn. Here we go. All done. My ability to receive is measured by how much I practice good feeling thoughts. There can be the necessity to stay positive, guys, because otherwise, especially in this scenario, uh, we may face more challenges. The progression when it comes to Professional endeavors in the first scenario is uh, on point. You may have just to say yes to it. And there is also a transition in the romantic arena uh, when it comes to the second scenario. As soon as I choose to see the light in the dark corners, I redirect my power toward what I want. This can be meaningful if we think about the make it or break it moment in the first scenario, guys. 
When I connect to the spiritual realm, I open the door to receive divine guidance, clear direction and great wisdom. This is for the last scenario that we have seen. It's pointless to fight. Let's try to understand why someone around us can make a certain decision and let's try to figure out how the progression can affect our everyday life or vice versa according to the scenario um, where a son or a daughter can decide to go in a different place for example believing in spiritual guidance gives me certainty and the freedom to keep dreaming even when i can't yet see the result step out of your comfort zone your dreams need a practical plan believe in the impossible we have to set clear intentions and then we have to move forward accordingly guys Sometimes it's the only thing that we have to do. Even if the circumstances are different from the ones that we would like to see in the current moment, you know, it's a process. We cannot force it. We have to embrace the flow. It's like a sailing indeed, the Six of Swords. Be honest, speak up. Speak your mind in a respectful way, but demand the same respect from those around you, you know, or to those around you. So, my friends, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon.